Where is Waldo Stadium? Kalamazoo, Michigan. It is the home of the Western Michigan Broncos, and the fans have been eager for this showdown for a while. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the MAC, the Eastern Michigan Eagles, taking on another team from the MAC, the Western Michigan Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Broncos will kick it away to start. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Eastern Michigan Eagles offense takes the field for the first time today. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling. The temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. That last completion sets him up on second down. Looking to throw at Snyder. Fires to the right. Makes a connection. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run right after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. The Eagles are moving quickly down the field. He wants to throw it again. Grabbed over the middle. It's Singleton. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. The play action fake. Fires to the wideout. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes you're just too open. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years. He caught it! He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. We knew this offense wanted to come out here and let it rip through the air. This QB is in a beautiful rhythm early. Nice job with his footwork and his eyes, and he completes a big one there. Get this offense humming. Eastern Michigan will line up with a first and goal. Trying to punch it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Eagles. They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and I feel like momentum's always a big thing in any game, but in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score now. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
and the PAT makes it 7-0. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards, and it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner will be brought down. So the Western Michigan Broncos offense will try to get something going with their first possession. The offense lining up for a first down play. From the gun, running back on the move. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Trying play action. Fires to the middle. It's caught downfield. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws, right in those holes, get those first downs, get those big chunks. Back to pass, it's Wolf. He lobs one high down the left side. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know David coming into this game this time. They want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. And the Broncos are on the move. Hand off from the gun. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Got his man quickly. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Third and short coming from the 34. You wonder if this is four down territory. Scanning the field, it's Wolf. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Well, not down in distance. The quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him, so a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Pocket starts to collapse. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, that's a throw in the drag route where you just got to have patience. You got to let your wide receiver clear through all the bodies in the middle of the field. They just couldn't hook up on that one. That last incompletion leaves him with second and 10 from the 23. He's looking to throw. Got his man in the middle. Right on the money with that throw. The defense was there, but they're in the red zone with a first down at the 12. 
Really nice job on that play. Quarterback and receiver being on the same page. Quarterback not telegraphing the throw, and the receiver does a nice job finding the soft spot in the defense, just settling down and giving his quarterback a nice target to throw to. It's complete! They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Give to the back. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last one. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. To throw, it's Wolf. They're trying to get to him. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. There's no substitute for experience, and the QB did the right thing there. Third and short, in field goal range. Can't take a negative play, can't turn it over. Just throw it away. Now, if you want to kick a field goal, you've got that opportunity. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And this one ought to be nice and easy, a 22-yard attempt. Going right down the boulevard. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Almost had the completion, just missed it. Well, it's a simple play. QB's just looking for his big fella, the tight end, and he couldn't reel it in. And here comes the offense on second down. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. They're setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen and behind it. There was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays. The expressway is wide open. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Everything seems to be working for this offense right now. And if they keep this up, this could get ugly by the fourth quarter. Eastern Michigan has it and a fresh set of downs. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And you can see why it's so tricky for a defense to have to stop these draw plays. Everything the offense is doing is telling you pass. The quarterback, the offensive line, the running backs delaying. You've taken your deep drop in coverage, and now you've got to rally and find the football and do it trying to avoid these big 300-pound bodies running at you full speed. Not an enviable task. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. 
And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking downfield, it's Snyder. Unleashes to the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. He got it. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Looking for a gap. It's Nixon. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat like quickness. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Nixon. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back. But, man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and keep pick up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out of it. To the air. It's Wolf. Fires it beautifully in on the crosser. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. They saw that blitz coming, and the way to get out of it is find the tight end. Yeah, how quick did he see that, too? Sees the blitz, understands this is a matchup where I got my big tight end, the big fella I trust. I'm going to find that matchup, get him the football for the first down. He wants to throw. Complete to the left. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. The Broncos are marching down the field. From the gun, the ground game. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. to pound it on first down now back to the line they'll run it out of the shotgun able to squeeze out a couple on the play it's down at the 35 a third and long coming up here From the gun, wants to pass. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Not much on that return, but I think they'll let him slide after making that pick, and they'll have it at the 20. 
I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the D.C. look very smart. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. Working that left side now. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Well, when you're running the drag route against man coverage like that, as a quarterback, you've got to put the ball out in front of your target. When you do that, you give the guy a chance to then advance the football up the field, pick up a first down like they did right there. They'll line up for a second down play. Back to throw, it's Snyder. They've got the screen set up. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big gainer. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Big third down conversion, getting the ball to your running back, and he does the rest. This guy, I think, will get a lot more touches. And you want to know why he's on the field on third down? Because he can block, he can catch the ball, and you can also hand it off to him. And he can go find the sticks and keep drives alive. What a weapon. They're going to ride this running back. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And that's the problem with blitzing on defense. You live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. Defense dialed up the pressure, but the offense had a better play call. They ran it away from the blitz, and that's why they were able to be successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the tailback. Tackle is made at the 44, but he picked up 10 yards and enough for a first down. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. On first down, here comes this offense. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines. They've swapped into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. And the Eagles will snap it on first and ten. Gets it out quickly. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They'll run play action. Fires to the big fella. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. How about that? Just really nice catch by the big tight end. Throwing those mitts up there, catching the football. Third and short, coming from the 34. You wonder if this is four down territory. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback, stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives alive. Whether it's third and long or third and inches, you just have to go execute, and they do it. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. It's a draw. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. 
And this offense is clicking. Everything's moving. And the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's he's setting this tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, his offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the back. He right now is running with authority on this drive. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Looking to throw at Snyder. He's got his man. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and then all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. Muscling ahead on third and short. That'll be enough to move the sticks and give Eastern Michigan a first down. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. Might as well give it to him again. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. He's looking to throw. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles! That dude's really big. How in the world did they lose him? Because down here, he does a lot of blocking, and you play a lot of man coverage in the red zone. And what do you do? You peek in the backfield, and you lose the big fella. I don't know how he lost that big of a guy. But he lost him race. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. They're lining up to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. To the air. It's Wolf. Unloads it left. Complete downfield. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell if you're going deep. And that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So we got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around to make it an easy pass and catch. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Didn't really get a chance to get started on that return, but he has set him up at the 41-yard line. 
QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I got to use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you could tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. If you like old-fashioned, grinded-up, run-over-em football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers, David. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. Quick handoff. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Now the play fake. Throwing right. He's got it. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense, next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. The Eagles have it with a first and 10. They're looking to pass from the red zone. He's got it on the run. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Well, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. Back to pass. It's Wolf using the quick game. Makes the catch and he's brought down. and short they've got them back up inside the 20 and the D can get the ball back here from the gun wants to pass they're bringing heat good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss and on that third down play there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target as a result ball falls incomplete setting up fourth And the Broncos decide to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He's got great speed. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. 
Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They're strong and they're sprawl. Defensive tackles, they're sprawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Wants to throw on second down. They'll run the screen. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. When your best is demanded on a big stage like this against a rival, he has delivered, cracking the 150-yard mark. No doubt about it. And what do we say? Big-time players make big plays in big games. The games don't get bigger than this for this team right here. And this guy, David, has shown up today. And it's so nice as a coach to have that dude that you know you can count on. He'll put up big numbers, and he's been carrying this offense. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game, now on second down. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And the Eagles get enough for the first down. And just went with something very easy, very reliable, flip it forward. Let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job. Nice execution. First down. Eastern Michigan surgical on offense right now. The give to the lone running back. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Dropping back, it's Snyder. Looking for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. Really nice timing on that throw by the quarterback. Took his steps, he hitched, he got rid of it quickly on the line, put it on his guy running straight down the field, and he's able to catch it in the end zone. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Here's the handoff. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. And stick him to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Off play action. Finds a tight end. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. They got him down quickly after the pick, but he'd already made the biggest play, and they've got it at the 38.
Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. You know, we're only in the first half of this football game, and already this offense has had tons of success throwing the football. The defense has to disrupt his rhythm, and they finally do there getting the sack. They've given up three TD passes. Let's see if they can continue with the pass rush moving forward. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Dropping back, it's Snyder. Going to take a shot. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass, and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback, now forcing the incompletion setting up for it. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. He's going to have to break out the Thunderfoot on this one, a 57-yard attempt. Splits the uprights, it's good. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. Well, it's a good news, bad news scenario. You got the pick, and you would have liked to have paid that off with a touchdown, but because it, the drive stalls out, they're still happy to get the field goal. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll bring it out. It's Nixon. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And this is a defense that prides themselves on their ability to go sideline to sideline. It's going to be tough for this offense to go QB option in this game. And you just saw the speed of the defense right there getting a big stop. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. The give from the gun. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Facing a third and long. Wide out in motion. Looking to pass. It's Wolf. Throws to the wide out. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. He'll try to take it back. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. I tell you what, it puts you in a tough position when you're backed up inside your own 20 trying to come out. But when you're a defense and you can force a turnover and you already set your offense up in scoring position, they are going to be extremely happy, and that offensive coordinator is going to look extremely smart. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He locked up and held on to bring him down. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. On second down, he's looking downfield. He wants it all. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles! 
The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They got the ball in great field position and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's Nixon. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. To the air, it's Wolf trying to get to him. They almost had another interception. They're trying to set records out there. You just wonder if that last interception the quarterback threw last drive is starting to affect him and what he's seeing right now. He's seeing ghosts. Doesn't look very confident throwing the football. He's lucky the defense dropped that last throw. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Broncos will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Singleton. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. And it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. Well, you wonder if the defense has started to figure it out finally here. In the first half, this guy has been absolutely lighting you up. And finally, they get some bodies back there anticipating the QB to look his way to force an incompletion. Wants to fire on second down. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already, heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody get stats for me. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you could tell they put the hit on him. And that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. After misfiring, it's second down. Looking downfield, it's Snyder. Fires to the wideout. Got his man! Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. You can tell this quarterback did his homework coming into this game. He has been dissecting this defense with his arm and his mind. Over 300 yards passing now. Eastern Michigan has it and a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Holds it in. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Here's first and goal, and they could go to the locker room with a huge cushion. Snap it to the back. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Eagles. 
And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. Lining up to add another. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. So they got the touchdown now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the returner will be knocked down. So let's see how they play it in this final 30 seconds of the first half. Using his legs, it's Nixon. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game-changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we're just about ready to go in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Starting this third quarter on the ground. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. Going to throw it over the top of the D. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, that one gets tipped and falls incomplete. That's been the best news on the day for this QB, man. As a former quarterback that's done this before, I can tell you, when you throw four picks in a game like this guy has, you never forget it. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. And he slid through that attempt and he's got room. And he surges up to the 36-yard line and they'll move the chain. Love the accurate throw by the quarterback there. Curl route against man coverage. You got to put that right into the body of the wide receiver who's running back towards you. Nice job executing it. And they pick up the first. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. To the air. It's Wolf. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Hey, listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. He looks that one in nicely. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the Broncos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Fires left. It's caught. 
And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Nice patience by the quarterback here working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. The Broncos trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Now on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score this touchdown. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. I'll tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. After the misfire, it's second down. Looking for a man, it's Snyder. <laughs> and he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Looking for a block, it's Parker. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Working the middle. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. And when you're running the ball well, QBs love going to play action. You get the linebackers starting to suck up closer to the line of scrimmage. They're keying on those running backs, and it just makes pitch and catch so much easier for these quarterbacks and receivers. Now on first down from the 28. The play action fake. Unloads to the right. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. Well, the receiver getting a little ahead of himself on that one. You saw him calling for the ball. He thought he was wide open. He thought that was going to be an easy catch. The ball finally gets to him, and he drops it. If you're going to call for the ball like that and call your shot, you've got to secure the catch. 
They'll throw again after the incompletion. And the pressure was all over him in the blink of an eye. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Throws toward the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. And the Broncos will punt this one away. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. He'll start this drive firing. He's looking deep. Makes the catch on the left. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. And that's why this guy's a complete running back. He's good between the tackles. He can pass block, but he can also run routes. And we're not just talking about screens or swing routes. This guy gets vertical down the field, and he can run the route tree. You look to be backed up, and then suddenly you're not. Big play has them across the 50, and they'll have it first and 10. Fires to the right. He's got an open man. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are and they work with their quarterback and they find them and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Off play action on first down. Throws toward the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles! And the beatdown has ensued. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. And the ball's on the ground. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man, and it was just the impact of the hit that dislodged the football from the ball carrier. There was a heat-seeking missile coming in there, and he knocked that thing loose. Excellent field position here for the offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Snagged in the middle. It's hard. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wants to throw, it's Snyder. 
He caught it. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that, A, it's zone, but, B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. And the pummeling has started. Man, oh, man, what a day. His third touchdown rushing, showing you he's got a little bit of everything and padding those stats. And all you fantasy football guys, if you have my man at running back, that's a good day. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. It's Nixon. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Going up top on first down. And with the completion out to the sideline, they'll pick up a couple. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Gets it out fast. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? They'll try to run for it. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. The Broncos will try to pin them back with the punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. Motion from the offense. Looking to throw, it's Snyder. Throws for the tight end. Got him downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. So, Jesse, they're able to connect on the crossing route against the zone. You run that pattern against that coverage. What do you have to keep in mind? Well, the receiver needs to know where the soft spot is in the defense so he can gear himself down. And the quarterback, Reese, has to play with great timing. Because if he's too early or too late on the throw, that might get picked. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, it was a good throw. It was a good route. But it was the hit that forced that incompletion. And now on second down for this offense. Out of the gun. The inside handoff looking for a crease. They make the stop, give him three yards on the carry. Ball's at the 24. Ball's at the 24. A lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. 
From the gun, wants to pass. Got the back over the middle. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. They were counting on making a few yards after the catch on third down. Instead, they're staring at fourth. Yeah, and I think a lot of times you trust your guy. You, you throw it to him and you say, I can make somebody miss or lower my shoulder and get to the sticks. The defense had none of that. Nice job tackling. Nice job forcing the fourth down. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. Well, that's just piling on. Not the penalty kind, just the mean kind. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner will be dragged down. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. Dropping back, it's Wolf. Quickly complete. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Offense gets set for second down. Trying play action. Quickly out to the tight end. A little more space open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. And that's why play action is going to be big in this game. You saw how it just freezed the second level of that defense just for a second and allowed the tight end to work himself vertically down the field. But how about this guy after the catch, right? So hard to bring down. What a weapon. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way. And when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. Throws to the tight end. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. Nice job by the defense there, taking all throws away from the quarterback. He had nowhere to put that football in the field to play, so that ball obviously had to go out of bounds. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. And the throw out to the sideline, good for a few. And the Broncos will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Wide receiver shows motion. But jet sweep pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. Leaves it with the back. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Back to throw, it's Snyder. Shoots it to the left. It's complete! And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. 
One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Give to the running back. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They go to the ground. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. Quick strike complete. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working, though. With that last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. The Broncos getting set on first and 10. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. Complete in the middle. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. So will the beatdown continue or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Makes the grab. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game, but trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. On the run, it's Nixon. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. Not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Fires into the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback and this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. Let's not say they cut into the deficit with that field goal. Maybe just, you know, tweaked a little bit of a way with their fingernail. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. 
He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. Shakes off the defender. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like that. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Feeling some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Defense came on the field with fresh legs, and here on just the second play of the drive, they're able to get a sack. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. To the ground with the back. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Looking for a man, it's Wolf. Takes the easy throw in the flat. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Running backs just have to be a weapon in the passing game, even for little dump-offs and checkdowns. Yeah, find your matchups. I mean, you think about running back versus a linebacker. We like that matchup in space, and so find ways to get the football to your running back in space where you can break tackles and make things happen because they're just so dynamic. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds incomplete. And listen, as a quarterback, you're trying to find the matchup, trying to find who's open. I don't know if anybody was open, but that was not a greatly thrown football. I don't know if it was miscommunication, but the ball thrown out of bounds and just on to the next down. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. A strike downfield. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. And this offense has got to kick it in high gear now. Making a big play, that is great, but we got to go up-tempo. we got to go fast. We're trailing big in this ballgame. we got to put a lot of drives together and maybe even get lucky with an onside kick. And the Broncos will line it up on first and 10. They keep attacking through the air. Can't make the grab. Quarterback just missed him a little bit. And on that incompletion, I think the quarterback is being just a bit too careful, trying to throw that ball too far outside, obviously aware that the defenders are coming from the inside. You don't want to put it behind the intended target and risk the pick six, but he needs to be more accurate. That last incompletion leaves him with second and 10 from the 23. He's right on target. The Broncos have moved it inside the 20. On the run, it's Nixon. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. When the offense gets in those multiple tight end looks, you kind of have a good understanding of what's coming. You don't know where the ball's going necessarily, but they'll put those big old bodies in there to block to move people, to put more mass on the field, especially once you get in this red area where you have to be able to run the football effectively. Those passing windows tend to shrink a lot. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And the field goal was good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit.
So they are lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Just gets it to the 28 pickup of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Handoff to the single running back. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Now on third down after that run. Back to throw, it's Snyder. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Slips through the line. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Comes out throwing on first down. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. Well, they're trying to attack the middle of the field. That time the ball a little too high for his wide receiver, and it falls incomplete. Line getting set on second down. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Makes a grab over the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Get you some of that. And with that completion, now he's over 400 yards on the day. That's a really, really good game for this quarterback. He's been almost flawless. They're lining up on first and 10 from the 38. He's looking to throw it. Makes the grab. Man, that quarterback knew that was a tiny window to throw into, and he just showed off his cannon of an arm. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. Looking to throw, it's Wolf. A little screen to the running back. Great move there. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit them for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. And the Broncos are moving quickly down the field. And off from the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are drives into the defense and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. This late in the game in the fourth quarter, they're in four down mode every single drive in possession, trailing by as much as they are. So down here in the red zone, you throw an incompletion, no brainer. They're going to be throwing it again. Can the defense step up here and make a play? So here comes the field goal unit again. This kicker has already made three in this one. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. 
Well, they got three back, but that's about all you can say about it. And I know a lot of people are scratching their heads why they try to keep that field goal. You're in the fourth quarter. You're down a boatload of points. A field goal isn't going to do it. You want to win this game. You need touchdowns. I would anticipate for every possession they get from here on out, man, you've got to be way more aggressive. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The inside handoff. Nifty run there. Pick up of six out through the 25. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll try to power their way ahead. And he's brought down, but the defender got a face full of stiff arm before he picked up that first down. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to get it through the air. He's going for the big play. Oh, and he toasted coverage. Got it deep downfield. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. And the route is on. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they cap things off with a touchdown pass from 59 yards out. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Wants to throw on first down. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Sometimes you'll hear guys derisively say, well, he just piles up numbers. When the number gets close to 450, that's worth doing. And that's why they throw it as much as they do, because they've got a difference maker playing the quarterback position. He gives them a chance to be explosive and light up the scoreboard. Back to pass, it's Wolf. Fires to the tight end. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. 
This guy's having a game that feels like half a season for some. He's over 450 yards. And he is so dialed in with his offensive coordinator and play caller with what they want to do and how they want to attack this defense. It seems like every single snap, he's read the coverage. He knows exactly where to go with the ball. I know it wasn't an interception, but a lot of times tips and deflections leads to interceptions. Great job by the defender getting his mid on the football. Let's see what they've got on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. He finds his man. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers, I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got his man quickly. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. Oh, uh, you know, that's one as a quarterback. You've thrown the completion, and you're like, dude, can you just turn around and make one guy miss and go get the first? Or can you just stretch out and get the first down? You need your guys to have a little bit more awareness where they are in the field on that play. And even though they got the completion, it's not enough to pick up the first. And now you're staring fourth down right in the face. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive he had way too much time to throw. After picking up a couple at second and eight, The give as they work on that clock. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. Makes the grab on the left. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that. And here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. The Eagles have it with a first and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. From the shotgun, the inside give. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. They'll keep it on the ground. Turns it on in midfield. They make the stop and the clock strikes zero and that will do it for this one.